look, the day you get married, other people outside don't automatically stop being attractive. You know, they still look the same way they did an hour ago before you said I do, right? So when you get married, you have to make sure that you're making the effort to stay attractive throughout your relationship. People, welcome back to our channel. This is the RLF Power Couple channel. My name is Ola. And I'm Shami, and we're on a journey to winning our relationships, our lifestyle, and our finances. And we're hoping to bring you all on that journey with us so you can do the same. Come on. <laughs> right. So today we have a very entertaining topic, but really serious topic for you all. And it's about, is love blind? <laughs> is it really? Um, so, yeah, we hear this phrase, love is blind, all the time. Mm -hmm. If you have watched the show on Netflix, Love is Blind, it talks about how, you know, people that never see each other propose <laughs> to each other, you know, out of never seen each other, and, you know, some of them worked out, some of them didn't, um, but the premise of that whole show is kind of wrong, because... They picked generally attractive people. I said generally because. I mean, six pack guys, <laughs> you know, everybody had one. Everybody had abs, yeah. So it's kind of like, okay. Ladies are basically pageants, <laughs> you know. But hey. Yeah, that aside, you know, sure. we're here to tell you that love is not blind in the sense that it's been used in, right? You know, physically, we don't think love is blind. When they say love is blind, really what they're saying is when you're in that honeymoon phase, right, love is like blind because, you know, you don't see anything wrong with that annoying laugh or that chewing, you know, that that person does. You're like, oh, your laugh is so cute. You chew so cute. But after that honeymoon phase wears off, you're like, oh my Real. God, <laughs> stop laughing. Hmm. Or I remember like yesterday, I'm like, why you turn your spoon around when you eat? What? I was surprised. <laughs> Can I eat? He was like, is this bothering you? And I said, no, but it's just, why do you do it? Right, so I've been blinded for all these years and what? So many years. Her eyes are open now. I can't eat normally. <laughs> but anyways, but physically, we don't really think that love is blind. The reason being is because, I mean, you have to be attracted to whoever you end up with. Right. Look. The day you get married, other people outside don't automatically stop being attractive. You know, they still look the same way they did an hour ago before you said I do, yeah. right? So when you get married, you have to make sure that you're making the effort to stay attractive throughout your relationship. Correct. The fact is, even during this quarantine, I remember we started talking about this and you know, she used to work at home and she was comfortable wearing bathrobes and bathrobes. It wasn't bathrobes. Yes, was walking just, around. It was just regular. You know, I'm like, yo, this ain't right, man. This is what you been doing at home. <laughs> so I'm home now. We gotta spice this thing up. So, you know, we gotta start dressing up nice. You know, not dressing up like we're going over to the office, but at least comfortable enough and looking pretty enough to... Yeah, so we kind of have to have a conversation is what do you like me to wear around my house? Because the day he kind of explained it to me, like I almost cried y'all, I'm not even gonna lie, because it's like, when you go to work, you go out all day, you dress up for other people, then you come home and you look like a bum. That's I mean, that's... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's facts. Many of y'all, you know, ladies, you put on makeup, go to work, a guys, I right. got your shirt up, you know what I'm saying, talked up. Why not? You know, try yeah. something at home. So basically, you know, we talked about it's like this is what I like you to wear. I talked about whatever I needed to talk about, and we came up to an agreement. Like, okay, you know, try to do this and do that while you're at home. Not saying we do it all the time, but we try. It'd be nice to brush and shower. You know, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Man, stop okay. calling me out. Um, <laughs> you all right, I'm calling me down. out today. But anyway, so. Yeah, you have to make sure that you stay attracted to each other because that just, you know, improves everything. Well, not everything, but it can improve a lot. Like, you know, looking at a spouse and smiling and like, oh, you look cute today. You, you might get a kiss or two, you know, if you take care more. of yourself. Um, so, <laughs> it's really important 
to one, when you're getting in a relationship, make sure that you're generally attracted to that person. Um, we're not saying that's the only thing you should look for, but it's really good to make sure that that's somebody that you know you're happy looking at every day. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously. Everything doesn't just boil up into attractiveness, right? There's times where your body will change. Obviously, ladies, you things know. start to shift around. And um, guys, you also get dad body as oh well. Oh my goodness. So, hey. The dad body on this one. <laughs> hey, my six pack is right here. No, but. Yeah, I was the one carrying the baby. He was the one giving away with me. I was carrying the food, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, anyways. At the end of it all, guys, your body will change over time. It is important to realize that you gotta work on that, right? Stay healthy, work on your exercising, work on your diet, try to work together, communicate about what you need to do to help each other out, get there. And I think it will help because not talking about it might be a bigger problem. Right, and then there's a lot of people, we've heard this a lot, where they're like, oh, don't look at looks, you know, this person has this, this person has that. Yeah, you know, <laughs> apart from everything, you know, you gotta be happy. You don't wanna wake up in the morning one day and run away and never come back. Oh, no. I'm just being honest here. So um, that's very important. Now, we're not saying that looks is the only thing that you should be worried about in a relationship because if you only focus on looks, Please. It's gonna fade. I mean, we don't look like the way we, we looked when we met. We can show you a picture when we were young oh, and getting it. Um, <laughs> I probably was a stick figure back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. Look shouldn't be the only thing that you should focus on, right. but you know, it should be something that you, you put into consideration. Now that we've dispelled love is blind, we wanna actually take the right context from the Bible where I'm gonna read it from scripture 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 5, all right? Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, does not boast, it is not proud, does not dishonor others, it's not self-seeking, it's not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. All right, yeah, so let's break that down for y'all. Okay, mm. love is patient. <laughs> so, you gotta be patient when you're in right. a relationship, y'all. <laughs> it doesn't forget that you you go crazy and wild oh, out. Oh my goodness, like, there's so many things. Like, for us, like, I'm like, we've talked about this a million times, he throws everything away, right? Every single thing. <sighs> I really feel like that's a good, you know, And so, habit, I have but... to be patient with him and be like, okay, he's working on it, because now, you know, ask me, do you need this sometimes, you know? So, you have to be patient because People, any habits that your spouse has, you know, if they're even working on it, you know, you have to be patient and let them take the time, all right? Another one is love is kind. Obviously, you can't just discredit the fact that, you know, you're angry at them or whatnot. You actually have to be kind-hearted, and that's really a part of what love is about. Right. Um, it says, does not envy. Yeah, so it does not envy it means like, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Sometimes I'm envious. We just talked about this way it was thing. <laughs> where like we're eating the same thing. He loses 10 pounds, I gain 10 pounds. And God is touching my heart, y'all. I'm trying not to be envious. But... Trying not to be an enemy of progress, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> but if you love somebody, you know, you have to work on making sure that you're not envious of them. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, it does not boast. Obviously, you know, you have to be, um, you know, Put your pride aside and clearly love out of just honesty and, and not boasting about things. So. Right. Um, it, it is not proud. I think you kind of talked about both of them. Yeah. Right. And then it does not dishonor others. Um, when you love somebody, you never dishonor them. Um, this is a big one because a lot of people have relationships and they claim to love each other, but then they go out and they either talk about whatever is going on in their relationship or outside. You're dishonoring your spouse by doing that. You know, keep it to yourself if it's something that you guys can work on together. So try not to dishonor your spouse, you know, because that if you really love somebody, you really shouldn't do that. Right. And then also, it's not self-seeking, right? So at the end of the day, yes, there's going to be a time where 
you're just gonna feel like, look, I wanna take care of myself, mm -hmm. right? But sometimes you have to be unselfish and right. really show that care regardless of how you're feeling because that's what love is. Right, and my husband really does a good job on that. I'm not even gonna lie. The way he helps out with the kids, like in the mornings, I start work really early. In the morning, he's helping out with a lot of the stuff that the kids need. Like, y'all, you know, I'm blessed. I appreciate that. <laughs> wow. Hey, get some credit here. All right, it says it's not easily angered. Love mm -hmm. angry. What? I just got credit, now I'm getting <laughs> No, I'm just saying love is not, I mean, you're not easily angered. I thought you were going to say something about me. Um, but God is working in my life, y'all. <laughs> sure and lastly, love keeps no record of wrongs. So that's the portion of the love is blind. We're going to close it, bring it back around full circle. Yes. So love, um, love keeps no record of wrongs. That is the only context in which you can pull in love is blind. But there is wrong. The, there is wrong, but you not keeping record of it is kind of trying to be blind to it in a sense of that word so that you can keep loving that person and growing with that person. We're not saying don't talk about wrongs, but just keep no record of it. And that's really the only way love is blind is actually, you know, a thing. So in summary, y'all, Marry somebody you're attracted to. <laughs> in addition to all the other things yeah. that you need or that are included in love. And just be real, because yeah. love takes shapes in so many ways that we just said. But make sure that at the end of the day, you are actually being true to yourself. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, y'all, please, what are you waiting for? Share this with somebody you think might enjoy it. Give us a thumbs up because that just helps YouTube share us with more people. I'm sure some of y'all may agree, some may disagree completely. <laughs> Go ahead and put that comment. We would be happy to have a conversation right. about your thoughts. Right, and as always, we hope that you win in your relationships, in your lifestyle, and in your finances. Absolutely. So we'll talk to you next time. All right, peace. Bye.